Okay, real quick, check it out. Those of you who know me know that I love making up or creating a groove every single time I sit down at my instrument. So really quick groove that I just made up. And what I like to do is just figure it out afterwards, like exactly what I'm doing theoretically. So let me show it and let me uh, break it down a little bit for you guys. So in the beginning, I'm playing a pentatonic uh, slash blue scale, really a blue scale, the way that I'm, yeah, the way that I'm playing it is actually a blue scale. It's just a different inflection, but I'm adding all of the notes in the A blue scale. Uh, going back and forth from a Dorian A to a, uh, natural minor E. So like going from the one to the five, being in the key of A. So, blue scale. So I have like a G major arpeggio type of thing going on there. And if you want to think about it, you can think of it as a G major seven arpeggio. So you have the notes G, B, D, F. With a pickup note using the G flat or the F sharp. And just adding it together. So, if you want to think of it in relation to, uh, to the key A minor or A Dorian, you can think that's your minor seven there, that's your nine there, that's your four, and that's your six of A Dorian. Okay, so that's what kind of makes it a Dorian groove. So it makes it a Dorian groove that natural six really stands out. Think of it like that in the back of your head. If you can kind of think musically what's going on in the background. Anyway, so that's the idea of it. So really what I like to show you guys is that I play for the feeling. Right. So when I sit down to play, I play what I hear, I play what I feel, I play what I feel sounds right on top of that. So then afterwards, I try to figure out theoretically, why does this make sense or why do I like this so much? That's a lot of my practice. That's a lot of practical practice for me, a routine, uh, regular routine out of my day. And that's what it would look like. So you guys can do the same thing. So if you're thinking of being creative or looking to, you know, take your bass lines to that next level, this method right here is what you need to work on. But anyway, if you guys have any questions, you already know what to do. Keep jamming. Keep funking on. I love this. I'm probably going to jam a little bit more with this one. Take it nice and slow. Make sure your com notes are coming out clean, clear and precise. And I'll take you guys in the next one. Peace.